the undercurrent of anti-Semitism at the recent protests is one of the most underreported aspects of the peace movement. It's been really uncomfortable as a Jew a lot of times to come out to the peace marches. Why didn't you get a Jewish date in, in Germany? Germany? There were enough Jews in uh, Germany. They killed you six million of us, that's why. They put us in concentration no. well, camps, that's why. I grew up going on peace marches and never had the feeling of being unwelcome before. Oh, I see. So you don't want to admit that because of the hurt in your history that you were kicked out from one country to another? Don't you see that there's a psychological thing here? To the Palestinians, the people of the world are with you! I don't believe that a Jewish homeland completely is possible. Having a separate state like Israel the way it is right now is actually quite dangerous. I believe that they should be phased out and I think they could be relocated. I've heard Madagascar mentioned several times. I don't think Israel can do anything until it gets over its racist. Feelings. Madagascar is very rich in resources. Why can't they have their homeland there? Israel is a death knell for many Jewish people. Okay, so maybe some of these guys had a little animosity towards Israel. What accounted for it? The vehement marketing of Pal uh, Palestinian cause at the Peace March. We think it's important for anti-war activists to acknowledge and recognize and hopefully include the issue of Palestine in their, in their um, uh, anti-war efforts. There seem to be subtle indications that the Palestinian marketing campaign was working. I'm wondering if you've seen any signs today that you do not agree with. Well, I don't think all that sharply. I saw I saw uh, Israeli flag, which at this time I think is counter to what a lot of people, the sentiments of a lot of people I've seen. But I still didn't understand why the Palestinian cause was so popular among these white urbanites. I really feel we're going to war to protect Israel. The Israelis are like the United States in acting uh, imperialistically and greedily. Oh, I get it. So they tie Israel to the U.S., and it gives the protesters another target for their anger. Uh, the other side of my sign, I wanted today to say, first dump Bush, then dump our Zionist Congress. I really felt unsafe. There was so much Jew hatred. I don't think we should be giving millions and billions of dollars to the Israelis to go and kill Palestinians. There's never both sides being given. It's always about the Palestinians that are being killed. What about all the Israelis that are being killed? If uh, Palestinians were going to go after people, they ought to go after the military rather than the civilians. But the problem is, if the military is backed by the civilians, then technically that's the source. Huh. So if we Americans back our military, then I guess it's okay to kill us. It would be unfair and unreasonable for those of us that live comfortably here in San Francisco to also say, well, it's really wrong for certain people to use suicide bombings and it's really wrong to commit very, very atrocious uh, uh, acts. So what did I learn in my day at the protests? Well, I learned that the protesters got pretty fired up about death depending on who's doing the dying. I also learned that the protesters preaching nonviolence found plenty of excuses for Palestinian terrorism. Apparently, not everybody deserves peace. The only means that Palestinians have at their hand is violence. But I sense that the anger in the voices of the protesters signified something more, and perhaps more sinister, than pure sympathy for the Palestinian cause.